for our final discussion, we'll just uh, very briefly talk about this uh, last reading for the week, this uh, article by Saunders and Ung on a case study of a, um, a uh, re uh, reference interview assignment, uh, a little different, uh, a little more involved probably than the assignment that you'll have upcoming for this class in which you'll be conducting a reference interview. In this particular case, of course, they had uh, uh, students in their library science program who were actually paired up with uh, other students in a social work program to um, conduct a, a reference interview, in fact, uh, more than one from the, the sound of things, and then also to evaluate uh, the experience afterwards. So again, I'll share my screen, bring up my slides. So uh, they do emphasize, and this, this is important to keep in mind, that their sample size is very small. So the results are uh, you know, not uh, statistically significant, not generalizable in that sense. But they do seem to be pretty much in line uh, with what we see from other sources. Also, their uh, uh, their literature review at the beginning of the article, uh, again, covers many of the same things that we've seen uh, before already in this class that we've already discussed uh, in relation to the other uh, literature that we have looked at. So uh, keeping in mind that 55% rule, that uh, about 55% of reference transactions are, uh, are regarded as completely successful, and an additional uh, piece of information offered in their literature review here that I don't think was mentioned in any of our, any of our previous readings was that uh, an astonishing 30% of uh, reference transactions tend to end with the librarian basically saying that he doesn't know and, and leaving the patron to his own devices, which is indeed as our authors here suggest, a strong indication that more training is needed. Again, uh, as you'll hear me say over and over, uh, the analogy to say retail, imagine going into Walmart or walking up to an employee and saying, hey, where can I get a can of baked beans? And the employee is simply saying, I don't know, and walking away from you. Uh, you'd, you'd probably be annoyed and there's no reason to think that this is not uh, an obnoxious way to treat patrons in the library as well. So obviously, a number as high as thirty as thirty percent on something like that is is completely unacceptable. Uh, lack of reference interviews again, and this comes up frequently in the uh, literature, is assumed to be to blame that um, uh, an interview needs to be conducted to find out really what it is that the patron is looking for, and then to uh, you know, provide what is needed. And again, emphasis again that patrons tend to rate uh, openness, friendliness as much more important than correct information. Which again, I can, th I can think of um, it, personal experience and, and I think it probably will generally match other people's experience as well. Uh, if you do ask somebody for help in the grocery store, uh, the interaction is much more positive if they're friendly and helpful, even if it turns out they don't have what you're after. Now this case study, of course, they had the interviews to follow up for both the social work st the students and the library science students. Um, they didn't get a lot of responses for reasons that were unclear to them and therefore unclear to us as well. Uh, they emphasized they thought they had a higher success rate, in at least in those who responded, than the uh, than the 55% rule would indicate, although my own interpretation of the numbers they were presenting were, were a little different, that they were basically in line, although it is true that the partial satisfaction rate was much higher uh, than 55%. They had about 50% complete satisfaction. So I, I interpret that to be basically in line with the rule. They, they interpret it to be better than the rule. You can, you can look at it uh, either way. And there was also about that 35, uh, a little over 35 percent 
unable to find relevant sources, which sounds very much like that 30% we just saw from their, from their literature review. So it does actually sound, it sounds to me at least, like even though this is a very small case study, again, not, not really generalizable, that it does seem to happen to match uh, in some respects what we are um, seeing from, from uh, other uh, writings on the subject. Uh, however, uh, one of the things they did point out is that in the responses they got on the surveys, there seemed to be a, a generally, with, with some notable exceptions, a generally uh, positive response from the social work students about uh, the helpfulness of the library students, the, uh, the friendliness, uh, what we might call, uh, aside from the information, the, the quality that the sets offered, the quality of the interaction. One thing that did come up, and I think this is a worth noting, again, going all the way back to green, um, that uh, a certain amount of education or, or training was not uh, worked into the interview as much as it could have been. Uh, some of those social work students indicated they didn't think they could find, turn around and find this information on their own, that they would probably need a librarian's help again, and that they wished that the, uh, the library student had involved them more in the research process while looking for the information. I think that's, that's quite notable. And uh, of course, this is, this is an academic setting and is probably most applicable to an academic set setting. And the article itself indicates that as well. The importance of teaching the patron uh, how to use the resources, how to find resources. Uh, and so forth, that there should be amount, a certain amount of training and education worked into uh, the reference interaction, worked into the reference interview, so that, as Green emphasized in his classic article on the subject of reference work, that the patron does not become dependent on the librarian, but is through the reference interaction, or, for, or possibly through repeated reference interactions, made more confident to uh, find and evaluate information on his own. Um, again, probably most especially important in the academic setting, though this can be applied um, to some extent uh, to the, the public library as well. Because again, the hope is that the, the uh, patrons, even in the public library, will become increasingly comfortable using the library's resources as a result of the reference interaction. This is also why, as I mentioned in one of my previous uh, lectures for this week, I'm a little bit wary of the oft-heard advice that library jargon should be completely avoided. It's, it's true to an extent, and this, this can easily be observed from, from conducting reference interviews, that, uh, that library jargon, even though our field is not as jargon heavy as some, can nonetheless uh, confuse people. But uh, I also uh, do think that if the idea is to uh, teach people how to become more comfortable using the library, that at least a little bit of the terminology, a little bit of the lingo, uh, and, and the definitions thereof are probably going to have to make their way into that at some point. But nonetheless, I'm not, uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this article. I think it's a, it's a good little article despite the minuscule sample size that they were working with. But it, uh, it does present uh, an interesting, almost but not quite real world example. Uh, it is pointed out these are students doing an assignment and that does affect what the interaction looks like. The, the real eagerness to please that the students uh, ex apparently exhibited may very well much have had to do with their having a grade on the line. And so um, how applicable that is to someone who's, who's actually working in the library and uh, is getting a paycheck but not getting a grade you know, is, is perhaps difficult to say. And they did point out too, there seemed to be one interaction where the student, the, the LIS student and the social work student were very much in disagreement about what happened in the reference interview where uh, the librarian or the library student basically indicated that, that she just could not get in touch with the social work student while the social work student indicated that uh, 
you know, it wasn't perfect. It didn't completely answer the question, but she was basically satisfied. And so in their analysis or, or speculation, we should say, since they didn't have actually very much information about what led to this discrepancy, but they suggested, and it's, it's probably a, a reasonably good guess about what happened there, that um, the library science student was probably anxious about a grade and was trying to make repeated contact with the social work student who apparently simply did not think that the reference interaction needed to continue. And uh, the takeaway from that, uh, to apply it to a real world setting, is that it is, it is the patron who ultimately decides um, if the reference interaction is satisfactory and who ultimately decides if the reference interaction needs to continue going or not. So that is uh, definitely an element of control that the librarian needs to relinquish to the patron. But um, although that could certainly come up in a real world situation, it's probably a less of a problem there than it would be in an assignment where uh, the library student naturally is going to have some anxiety if the interaction appears to have been too brief to adequately fulfill the requirements of the assignment. So that's, that's the takeaway from that. Uh, the, the patron ultimately should have control of the interaction. Again, going back to good customer service. So that's gonna be it for our lectures for the week. Do keep an eye on the syllabus and what's coming up. I think there's another reflection journal somewhere in the very near future. What is this, week four? I guess there's one this week, yes. And uh, do keep in mind too, first big assignment is uh, coming up toward the end of this month. And I will see you next week. Again, um, from here on out, I'm planning to basically have lectures up on Wednesdays. That uh, probably works best by Wednesday evening, I should say. That probably works best, I think, with my schedule, at least for the time being. I'm hoping that should give you enough time to, uh, to go over the readings and then uh, see my discussions of it after that. And since we're talking about reference to good uh, customer service and all of that, I will add to as well. Make sure, please contact me with any uncertainties, questions, follow-up comments, anything like that. So I'll leave it at that for this week. Thank you very much.